Can I be real with y'all? One of the reasons I have taken a break from the church, traditional church, for the past couple of years is because it's just turned into another organization. Like, it's, instead of it being a reflection of God, it feels a lot more like a membership base, a business. And it's so concerning to me that we focus on entertaining people, big screens and lights and cameras, rather than teaching people the fundamental doctrines of the Bible. We're more concerned about their giving them coffee and lemonade and making them comfortable. We prioritize comfort over spiritual growth. They always in these mega churches are giving motivational speeches, but never giving them practical truths from the God's word to change their lives. These mega churches may have millions of people, but none of them can articulate the true basics and the elements of what it means to be a believer in Christ, their faith. Jesus didn't preach about church buildings. He emphasized a community of believers, each of us with our own unique gifts and contributions. So why is there this big disconnection, right? Why is it that we're focused on religious rituals instead of a genuine relationship with God? Our churches right now insist on tithing often because of Old Testament principles, but in the New Testament, the focus shifted to giving from the heart, guided by the Holy Spirit. It's not a fixed 10%. It's about a personal spirit-led commitment. In this new dispensation of grace, pastors aren't priests. The building isn't a temple. We are the temple. The church isn't confined to a spirit of physical space. It's about the embodying of the kingdom wherever we go. God lives inside of us. We got to step away from these man-made traditions and delve into God's word for ourselves. It is my prayer that in 2024 that we become the true church that isn't confined to buildings. We are told in God's word that we are his temple. It is within us that he dwells. Jesus never preached about a church building. He preached the kingdom of God. And in Matthew 6, he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. We are his body. And Ephesians 1, and 23 says, God has put all things, not some, but all things under the authority of Christ. And he has made him head over all all things that benefit the church and the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere within himself. And once we realize that truth to the fullness and the power, we will no longer have religion, but we'll have a relationship with our true and living God. All things will change.